Hi, in this video presentation, we're going to provide a brief overview of the winter 2016-17 so far and the impacts across Southern California. Here was a significant storm across San Diego County on January 20th. It resulted in hundreds of trees being knocked over, hitting vehicles, power lines, traffic lights, like you see in this example in Encinitas. Winds of 55 to 65 miles per hour were recorded on January 20th. Here's an example of one of the high water rescues that were successful. This one occurred in Marietta. There were others in San Bernardino along the Cajon Creek and also in northern San Diego County in Fallbrook. The rain on January 22nd was three to four inches widespread in about 12 hours or less across Riverside and Orange counties. In January, we also saw a massive snowfall of about 60 inches in a few days up near Big Bear. The massive snow banks cause difficulty with driving. Then in February, another storm impacted California, this one on the 17th. We saw about four inches of rain in a very short period of time in the Cajon Pass, and it washed out part of Interstate 15. We also see that on this event here, strong winds impacted San Diego and Orange County. Here was one of the impacts, a massive eucalyptus tree blocked off Highway 163. In fact, several of the trees fell across the freeway. Towards the end of the month on February 27th, flooding occurred in the San Diego River area where about four inches of rain occurred in less than 24 hours in the mountain regions of San Diego County up to eight and nine inches of rain. The flood stage in the San Diego River reached 14.15 feet. That's the third highest all time. Here's what it looked like Tuesday morning along the San Diego River near 163. All right, let's take a look at what this had for an impact on our drought massive changes across the west on our drought monitor. Currently across our region, most of the area is sitting at the D0 or the lowest level of the drought. Changes over the past few years are evident here. We've seen significant improvement and category changes of up to five across central and northern California. Across Southern California, we've seen improvements of at least three categories. Going back to 2015, you can see most of California was in the D3 and D4, and now very little of the state is in that drought. Another way of looking at it is the change in the categories all the way back to 2000 on the far left. Our most recent five to six year drought on the right. You can see that dramatically we've improved thanks to the significant rain and snow of 2016 and 17. Some of the improvement is now being realized in local reservoirs as shown here. Reservoirs that were near a quarter percent full are now up to 70 or 80 percent of capacity. Our satellites can also show the dramatic difference from 2017 compared to 2016. Snowpack even in Southern California is much more significant as shown here. San Gregorio Mountain has 33 inches of snow water equivalent sitting in that snowpack. You can see on the satellite very green conditions across parts of the Inland Empire and San Diego County as compared to last year. Soil moisture has responded tremendously and you can see that across our region of Southwest California 
we are very moist and especially moist across the Sierra Nevada. We'll go into some details on their precipitation that has resulted in this moist soil conditions. Underneath the soil, we can see that the wells, as monitored by the United States Geological Survey, have improved greatly, though several of them in the Inland Empire are still running very much below normal. You can see in the San Diego region, they are running above normal. Sometimes it takes months, if not years, for some of the rainfall to move into the aqueduct and also into the deep wells. Across our region here, we've seen significant precipitation. In fact, in the green column, you can see our water year totals are already exceeding 100%, in some cases 130% of normal. Compared to last year, in some cases that is double or triple what we saw during the entire season. There are still deficits across our region as shown in the total deficit and precipitation ranging from as much as a foot of water to a few feet of water. What was the weather pattern this year? Well, compared to the two years, the weather pattern 2016 and 17, the jet stream in 2016, that winter, last year, was very strong and enhanced over the Central Pacific thanks to our record-breaking El Nino. However, perhaps too strong, most of the storms were steered to the north of our region. Now this year, you can see the jet stream is not as strong. You can see the lines are not as tight together between December and February. However, it has been pointed directly into Central California. The importance is being in that storm track as shown here. How does it look compared to normal? Well, this past winter, December through February, which is located on the right-hand side, you can see much colder than normal in the atmosphere across the Pacific Northwest, allowing the storm track to be right over Central California. Last year, I mentioned how much impact El Nino had on the jet stream. That clearly shows tremendous impact, but over the Central Pacific, and the storms were steered to our north, leaving us on the dry side of the storm, which all storm tracks have a dry and a cold side. So we were on the warm and dry side last year, 180 degrees compared to what we saw this year. How does it affect the moisture in the atmosphere? Well, you can see last year, moisture was steered towards our north in the atmospheric rivers. This year, the atmospheric rivers or the water vapor was pointed directly from west to east into California. More storms and more direct impact from those storms bringing the moisture into our region. And this has resulted in significant increases in our water supply or reservoir supply. The state view is on the left hand side where most of the reservoirs are at historical averages if not above and then in Southern California we've gone from record lows in the Diamond Valley Reservoir all the way up to 81 percent of capacity thanks to some of those recent water flows from California across Southern California the water supply looks like this we've seen finally some big improvements with now capacity around 60 percent full and quite a bit of moisture that resulted in significant runoff in the February storm alone as shown here with about 37,000 acre feet just from that storm alone. The precipitation across our region December through February one of the wettest years on record you can see the storm track I showed you in the prior slides very evident here with a 150 percent to 200 percent of normal across California because of that direct track of the storm track. That wasn't one storm, it was many storms as it persisted December through February. Now across the entire state of California, if you add it all up from the start of the water year, October through February, it is the wettest year on record. 
For Southern California, not so. We've seen some wetter years as listed here, but nonetheless still very significant across our region, which has improved our drought tremendously. How about the snowpack? This is very important for water supply and water management and ultimately getting out of droughts. Across the Sierra Nevada, what I did here is I compared the snowpack to some of our wettest or snowiest years on record, including 97, 98, and the snowiest, 82, 83. And you can see we are very close to those values, even though we have tailed off with the recent warm weather and dry conditions in March. Across Southern California, here are the statistics for snowfall in Big Bear. I mentioned that big storm they had in January. They are sitting at number 12 all time with 92 inches of snow this year so far. And finally, this last slide sums it up. Across California, the water year, as measured in the Sierra Nevada, is on pace to be the wettest, even though we've had a drop off in March. 200% of average right now, and you can see on this chart the wettest year on record, 82-83, and other years that fall well short. So 2016 and 17 is going down in the books as one of the wettest years on record for much of California. Thanks for watching this video briefing. Hope you found it useful for the update on the drought and the climate for California.